we have learnt rules of congruency. Let's discuss how we apply congruence rules in proofs. Here is a well-known proof that diagonals of a rectangle are equal. Let's discuss the proof and see how SAS rule is used in this proof. Shown below is a rectangle LMNO. Prove that MO is equal to LN. So here we have a rectangle LMNO and we have to prove here that diagonals MO and LN are equal. Let's see the approach for this proof. Consider the diagonals MO and LN as the sides of two triangles. If we can prove that these triangles are congruent, then by CPCT it will follow for the two triangles, three pairs of corresponding sides and three pairs of corresponding angles are equal. And hence we can prove that MO is equal to LN. Let's prove it using the approach. All we are given is that the given shape LMNO is a rectangle. To use congruency for the proof, first we need to identify the pair of triangles which we will take and prove them congruent. One side of each triangle should be the diagonal of the rectangle. So let's consider triangle LON, that means this triangle, and triangle OLM, that means this triangle. Here, ON is equal to LM, as these are opposite sides of rectangle. OL of triangle LON is equal to OL of triangle OLM as these are identical sides. Angle NOL that means this angle is equal to angle MLO that means this angle as angles of rectangle are 90 degrees. So in the two triangles we can see that ON is equal to LM. This side is common and this angle here is equal to this angle. So we can say triangle LON is congruent to triangle OLM by SAS rule of congruency. Here we have shown the two triangles separately. So we can see very clearly here that triangle LON is congruent to triangle OLM by SAS rule of congruency. Therefore, by CPCT, we will have ON is equal to LM which are the diagonals of the rectangle and here we have proved them to be equal. Let's summarize what we have learned through this proof. We have seen how SAS rule is used in geometrical proofs. Here we have proved that diagonals of a rectangle are equal.